Food fraud is a criminal activity. It affects up to 10% of the global food supply chain and it's costing the industry billions of dollars. Food fraud is a complex issue and it is uh, by nature, it is uh, hidden. The outcome of the incidents such as the horse meat scandal in Europe a couple of years ago showed that um, there's been an over-reliance on paper trails. Food fraud is massive. Current estimates would put it in excess of 50 billion US dollars uh, per year. That's bigger than the economies of many uh, of the countries around the world. The science that's being uh, developed and applied here at Otago through the university and uh, in conjunction with Oratane is recognised as being world leading. The science at Oratane is unique. What we've done is we've used a number of chemical uh, analysis methods and combined that with some pretty high level proprietary statistical packages uh, to determine a chemical fingerprint of origin. And we can then use that to help identify for producers or brand owners exactly where your product originates from or audit any part of your supply chain. So the science at Oratane originated out of forensic science and we continue that high level of robustness. So should we need to, uh, what we say here around the origin of products can stand up in a court of law. So the science here at Oratane, we're unique. We're the ones pioneering the use of chemical analyses for proxies for origin. This is what allows us to get down to country, region and farm level of production. We can determine if beef has come from grass-fed cows or grain-fed cows. We can determine adulteration in food products and we can determine if a product has been diluted in market by some unsavoury practice. People buy food every day. Food plays such a huge role in people's lives and they're hugely passionate about it. Products like Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc, Scottish beef, Scottish whisky, Welsh lamb, New Zealand milk, Parma ham, Parmesan cheese, all those things have a really great perception in a consumer's mind because of where they come from. Where they come from means quality, it means safety, and it means great taste. But consumers need to trust that brand story and more and more, as food scandals like horse meat or the melamine scandal in China in 2008, consumers are really starting to erode in terms of the trust that they have in brands. With instant communication like social media, any transgression that involves a brand can spread like wildfire across the world and reputations of brands can be destroyed almost instantly. It's really important that brands protect that trust and proving where your product comes from by an independent scientific method like what Oratane does can really help brands build that story with their consumers. So I got involved with Oratane because I come from a farming background and I see as a farmer how much we invest to produce a really good quality product but it's so important that we protect that brand overseas because we're competing with people who don't always act with the integrity we do. Food fraud is economically motivated but the consequences can be horrendous. Businesses need to take greater responsibility for their supply chains. This shouldn't be seen as a cost, this is a competitive advantage for them. A busy market like this one shows that people really care about where their food comes from. People are shopping at places like this because they know the food they're getting is fresh and it's from the farm just down the road. Brands need to think about how they close that gap when they're on the supermarket shelf. How can they make or reassure consumers that their product is from a certain origin and certainly the services that we offer can do that for them. As a business, the origin of our food is really important, obviously. We're fresh pressing everything we make here, so being able to have stuff that's local and locally growing, you know where it's come from, especially knowing the farmers and knowing how they, how they grow everything is really important. It's hard nowadays to know in a supermarket where things come from, if they are as healthy as they say they are, um, just because they may have certain labelling on them, they may not actually mean what they say they mean. We solve problems for businesses every day. The cost is small compared to the cost of doing nothing.